the hurricane. Now it's in the building. <laughs> Big fucking Trina, not the little one, bitch. Um, if you're new to my channel, you already know what to do. Hit the bell notification, make sure you subscribe, or whatever the case may be. Today's Sunday, God bless everyone. Hope everyone's having a blessed day. I'm actually getting my hair done now by my daughter. I'll tag her in the comments. I'll tag her in the video, so if you're in the New York area, you can book her. So, I'll be back, guys, once my hair is done, okay? Bye. Love goddess. She said she look up the hot, but really she look up the dick. She said you been her daddy. I said that's the love goddess. <laughs> that's Erica Levin. She running. Look at Taylor Katrina. But really she look up to me. Galiche. Me. Galiche, say hi to Tree. Hi Tree. You know Tree Tree. Yes, I know Tree. I'm vlogging. Look at say hi to Tree. YouTube. YouTube. Say hi to Tree. Motherfucking legends. Every icon ever need. Love goddess. <laughs> I love you, brother. I love you too. All right, we I like my honey's blue. She said, bad bitches, yeah, we keep on by the two. <laughs> Hi. How you feel, Bella? What? She gave me the wrong thing. Wait, what happened? She gave me some bullshit. It's broken? Yes, sir. This is the cake, y'all, for my sister. We just got her something, you know, something, something real quick. Her cake. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! Ha turn that off, turn that music off. Turn that music off. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Asha. Happy birthday to you. We love you, sisters. Smith the beans. Smith the baby beans. Hey guys, I'm back. My hair's finally finished. I will tag my daughter in this video. So if you guys are located in the New York area, you can go get your hair done by her. She did a really good job, right? Didn't she eat it? My daughter always laid my hair, but whatever. Um, I know a lot of you guys seen my last video about what was going on. So I wanna give you guys an update on that before we even get into this reaction video. Um, I went to the hospital. So basically a lot of the comments that you guys left, a lot of you were actually kind of right. So when I went to the doctor, my primary care doctor told me it can actually be from stress, it can be from depression. Um, it can also be not withdrawals, but it can be like the pills fighting to come out of my body. Like it can happen months later or whatever the case may be. But it probably is from like stress and depression because I'm one of those people that I think a lot. Like I'm, I think, like I think a lot. Like when I want something or I want to get something done or like something's on my mind, like I would think about it for days and days and I would think about it all night, like all, all night. I would even go to sleep thinking about it. So that's probably where the sweating came from in my sleep, like me being so much going on and then my best friend passing away. So I still think about that, like that's still on my mind. You know, I still fight depression a little bit or whatever. So. But besides that, like it's nothing major. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm healthy. I'm not back on anything. Um, so I'm doing really, really, really good, as you guys can see. Um, I didn't want to just leave just like that because everything that's going really, really, really good. And I also want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed to my channel, who watched my channel, who supported me or whatever. And I also want to say, I see a lot of you guys. When I do reaction videos, it get a lot, a lot of views. Not a lot of views, but it get a lot of views for me to be a new YouTuber. And then I see when I do regular videos, it's not really that much views. So what I want to say is, if you really support me, if you're really one of my stormies, I need y'all to support all my videos, watch all my videos. I don't want this to 
this channel to only be about ballroom. Like, I want you guys to get to know me outside of ballroom. Like, get to know the real Hurricane Katrina outside of ballroom. Like, the real me. How I am outside of ballroom and what I do outside of ballroom and stuff like that. So, I really want y'all to support all my videos and get to know me for me. You know what I'm saying? Not just ballroom. And another thing is, um, I started a membership. So I actually got monetized, but I only got monetized for part one, which is you guys can, um, you guys can subscribe to my membership or whatever. And basically the membership is if I go live, you guys get like a personal badge next to your name, like your comments get pinned at the top and stuff like that. Or, you know, you guys can like donate to videos or whatever the case may be. The membership is on the video. It's going to say join. You can join. I think the membership is like $5.99 or whatever. You guys can um, also support that. That's if you want to. I um, can't tell nobody what to do or whatever. But that's basically what I wanted to say. And before we get into this reaction video, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that bell notification, like, comment, and share this video because your girl Happy Katrina is back and I'm feeling good and I'm better and I'm doing great. And I also know it's always out of everybody that supports you and out of everybody that supports you and show you love, it's always about it's always at least two people that's watching your video right now that's hating, saying something negative, waiting for your downfall or whatever the case may be. But we're not even gonna pay them people no mind because we blessed, we covered, we covered with God. God is blessing us. We're doing great. And baby, this YouTube channel is going to blow up. Trust me. Okay? So let's get into this reaction video. You gotta get into if you get, look at the video, just get into the self field. Like, get into, like, the hands. If you look at everything, our performance is similar. Like, I'm voting just like her. I'm doing exactly everything that she's doing, but I'm doing it different. You can get what I'm saying? Like, it's like we're doing exactly the same thing. You can actually tell, like, this is like a mother and daughter battle. You can tell that she actually, you can tell Champagne taught me. If you, like, if you really pay attention, you can tell, like, they, they had to practice with each other. Like, they had to practice together or, like, something. They, they got to be mother and daughter. Like, the performance is, like, kind of similar. And it's like we're doing the same exact stunts. Like, everything. Like, if you just get into the whole battle, like, catch it. Down to the poses and everything or whatever. I think this was actually, was this, I don't know if this was my first major ball that I won or was it my second? I'm not sure, but I did win this ball and it was nothing but love. So, let's get into this video and the backstory behind this or whatever. I was, before anything, Champagne is my mom. That's my gay mom. That's actually my first gay mom. That's one of my gay moms, but that's my first, first ever gay mom. So I think I was about 16 years old and I was living at home and something happened at home where I had to get an order of protection. So I had to be removed out the house or whatever and I was placed in a group home. I was placed in an LGBTQ group home, which was called Green Chimneys Gramercy in Manhattan on 28th, 22nd, was it 22nd? 22nd between 2nd and 3rd. Yes, it was on 22nd between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. It was an LGBTQ group home. I never met another trans woman ever in my life. I only seen them on like Jerry Spring and stuff. So I never thought it was real. So that's why I was always so scared to like live in my truth because it was like, is it okay to be trans? Like, is it okay for me to dress like a girl or whatever? Cause I only seen it on Jerry Springer. So the, the guy that I was dating at this time, his name was Rodney. He was from New York in the Bronx or whatever. I was dating him. So when he found that I was going to this group home, he told me he had a friend or whatever that he wanted me to meet. So his friend, the name, his friend was Champagne. So when I got to the group home, she was waiting right there in the lobby, like to, you know, introduce herself to me to make me feel comfortable. So when I came inside, like she was the first trans I ever seen ever in my life. And I was like actually shocked because I didn't know like it was really real. And it was like, you, you can actually be trans, like, you know, back then it was just like, oh wow. So when I seen her, I was like, oh wow. She was like, hi, my name is Champagne. I was like, yes, I know, Rodney told me about you. She gave me a hug. 
we hugged or whatever the case may be. She helped me with my things upstairs. She embraced me from there. She took me under her wing. She made me her child. Like she made me her daughter. I was actually her son because <laughs> I was a butch queen at the time. So she made me her son. And I was staying at the group home. Like I would always go to Champagne room and I would sit in the room with her and she would always be watching these like tapes that she put in the VCR. She would be watching these tapes and it would be a people voguing. I didn't know nothing what Vogan was. I didn't know anything about it. And it would be like Yolanda, Sanaya, Mika, Alora. It would be like all these girls Vogan. She would even be showing me clips of her Vogan and stuff at the clubhouse and everything. So the people that I went crazy for was, of course, Alora and Mika. And I always lived with Sanaya because she was just so sexy. And I love Yolanda too. But my favorites was Mika and Alora or whatever. And I used to just come in there every day, every day, and just watch these clips, watch these clips, watch these clips on the VCR or whatever, because there was no YouTube or nothing back then. And I would just watch these clips, watch these clips. And then, you know, like downstairs, like there was like the living room area where you could go for like recreation and you could like play music and, you know, do whatever you do. It was right next to the kitchen where everybody would go eat. So one day I came downstairs and the beats were playing and they were voguing. Champagne and everybody was downstairs voguing. And I came down and I'm like, what is this? Like, what are y'all doing? And then they were slamming their backs and stuff so hard. So it was like, oh my God, like, that don't hurt. Like, what are y'all doing? Like, are y'all okay? Like, are y'all hurting yourself? Like, I was really, like, gagging because I didn't know what it was at the time. And they were just always vogue and stuff and da 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 And Champagne told me one day, she was like, trust me, you gonna learn, you gonna be doing this one day too. I promise you. I was like, no, I'm not. That was like, it hurt. She said, I promise you, you gonna be doing this one day. And then, like, after, like, a couple of days, a week or whatever, I started to like, you know, change my appearance and I started to wear like champagne tight pants and stuff. Champagne started to blow up my hair because my hair was really, really, really long because I'm Puerto Rican, Black and Cuban. So my hair was really, 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 really long, which it still is, but champagne would like blow my hair out now. So now I'm dressing like in cunty clothes and tight pants and I'm blowing my hair out. So now I'm letting my feminine out or whatever. So now when they was to go downstairs in Vogue, she, now I'm actually like trying to learn. So I'm going down there and I'm trying to duck walk and stuff and do all this stuff or whatever. I didn't get it at first, but then I started to get it. So, you know, Champagne's teaching me the basics. She's teaching me the duck walks and the cat walks and stuff. And she just like kept teaching me and teaching me. We would go downstairs and practice to the point where I started to go downstairs and practice myself. So like Champagne would leave and go to balls and Vogue or whatever, and I would stay home and I would stay, I would stay in the group home and I would stay up, you know, just to wait for her to come back so she could tell me how everything went, how was the battles and stuff. Like I was, I would stay up to watch her leave so I could see like what she wore and stuff because Champagne always had on like her, the boots that she wore, she always had on a nasty, sickening boot. Like her boots were always so beautiful and they were always so expensive. That's one thing I can definitely tell you. So I would always stay up to see what she wore and you know, stay up, of course, for her to come back and tell me stories of how it went and everything. So but I would, we would practice for days and days and days. Like she would always practice with me. I would practice by myself. And then one day Champagne was like, I'm gonna take you to a ball. And it was a ball in Jersey. It was Deshaun Evisu ball, my, my gay father. Deshaun Bastiat now. And she took me to that ball and she was like, you're gonna Vogue. I was like, ma, I'm not ready to Vogue. She was like, no, you're going to Vogue. I said, I'm not ready for this. She said, yes, you are, you're going to Vogue. And I came out that night and I actually sat everybody down. I won grand prize. I walked that night, Champagne Walk, Tia, Lola, some other couple of people. And I actually won the whole thing, grand prize or whatever. So then the next ball that was coming up was the New York Awards ball. That was like a big ball. And you know, at this time I joined the house of Blahnik or whatever. And Champagne got me dressed and everything. The clip that we just watched, she got me dressed for that ball. Like she got my outfit, helped me like get my outfit together. Those shoes that I had on was actually blue. She spray painted them for me red. She got me together. She did my hair for that, for that ball as well. She did my hair and everything. And we always practice together. So that's why you see in the clip, we're voguing just to like, I'm voguing just like her because that was who taught me how to vogue. Like that was the first person I ever vogued with who taught me how to dip and catwalk and spin and taught me everything. So that's why in the clip we're voguing just alike. And that's one thing I could say as her being my mother or whatever the case may be, anytime we had the battle, it was never no shade. Like she never, other parents, they would get, other parents, 
I've seen other PMs get into altercations or it becomes shady and everything. She always showed me love and she always embraced me because she wanted me to be one of the greats like her. Like she was already one of the greats. And as me being her child, she wanted me to become that too. Like she wanted me to become one of those girls who were like one of the greats and make my name or whatever. So when I won over her, it wasn't no shade or whatever. She came, she gave me a hug. She said, I love you. She was like, I told you daughter or whatever. And bitch, after the war, Miss we went and got something to eat. We went back home or whatever. We talked about it or whatever. We talked about it for a couple of days and everything. I thanked her or whatever. Then we finally got the, um, I think it was a CD at that time because I think they were doing like CDs. We watched the CD, we watched the ball, we laughed about it, we kiki like, oh look, I got you right here. Oh look, we did this same stunt right here, and da 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 da. It was always love with us. And I will always respect that lady, and I will always love her because that is my first, first ever gay mother, and she taught me so, 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 so much. She made me feel comfortable enough for me to actually live in my truth and transition because I was so scared about what the world would think or people outside, like, you know, would, would think or whatever the case may be. And she made me feel comfortable to actually finally become myself and be myself. So I want to actually say thank you to my mother, Champagne, and I love you so much. Like, I can honestly say it wouldn't be no hurricane if it wasn't for her. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm being honest. Like, I'm keeping it real. So I have to say, like, got to give my props to her. Like, she taught me so, so, so much. She taught me a lot. Us living in that group home was actually a lot, but... That's basically like the backstory of us battling in that clip and how all of that came about or whatever. So shout out to my mother, Champagne, Icon, the Icon. I love you so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. What's Google? I love y'all stormies. See y'all next video. Bye.